Hi there, I'm Marlena from A Pen and a Purpose, and today I'm going to show you how to add fonts to Procreate. When you go into Procreate, you can see that there are some fonts that are available right in Procreate. So I'm in a canvas, and I'm going to hit my wrench tool and add, and then add text. And this is going to show you which fonts you have in Procreate. So if I have this up, I'm going to hit this little AA on the right hand side of my keyboard. And on the left hand side, then I have a menu of the fonts that come with Procreate. So this is what comes with Procreate. So I'm going to teach you how to find some fonts as well as how to get those fonts into Procreate. There's two different ways and there's one I prefer. So the first thing I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to Safari and I'm on this website called defont.com and this is a website where you can get some fonts to use for your personal use. That means you can't make anything that you're going to sell with these and you have to be careful and keep track of these because you could get into some copyright issues if you were to use these in a way that was not approved. I personally don't use free stuff. I don't use free fonts and that kind of thing because I just don't have the capacity to be able to keep track of that. Now I'll use free stuff if the free stuff is fine for commercial use, but I don't want to have to worry about, you know, I'm doing a video for my YouTube and I used this, this thing without a commercial license and now I'm in trouble. For this purpose, I'm just going to show you how to use these for your personal use. So there's different things you can do within here. Right now what's up is new recently added fonts. And you can also look at these different menus to find out, you know, do I want a Valentine font, for example? There's lots of hearts and cute stuff here. What I would look for if I was going to be working in Procreate is a font that is thick, kind of like this Back So Sappy or Hey Comic or some of these other ones. I really like them to be thicker so that I can do things to the fonts. So let's say I'm gonna look at some of these basic sans serif fonts. These are perfect. Let's say I want to try this Akira one. It says free for personal use. So I'm gonna click the download button and you're gonna see this pop-up comes up. I'm in Safari and I'm just gonna hit download. And at the top of my screen, you see this little arrow would kind of did a little jump and it downloaded. Now this is going to be inside of my files. And so I'm gonna go iCloud Drive Downloads and I'm going to see it's right at the top, Akira Expanded. I'm gonna unzip it by clicking on it. And now it's right here in this folder. This OTF file is the font file. If I wanted to get Akira into Procreate, I could go back into Procreate and we're still in this add font section. I'm gonna hit at the top of this keyboard, import font. And then I can go back. I had it in my downloads folder. So I'm going to click downloads folder by did list and then by date. Here it is. And so if I click on a cure expanded OTF, now that is in Procreate. So if I were to use that, I'd find it and there it is. Now, if you install fonts only on Procreate, that's the only place that you can use that font. I prefer to import a font to my iPad itself so that I can use that same font in any program that I want to. So whether I'm using Affinity Designer or Adobe Illustrator or Procreate Pages, whatever, I can use the same fonts without having to import them into each individual program. And the way that I do that is by using an app called iFont, which is the bottom of my screen, it's an F with a little dot. If I went to the App Store and searched for iFont, it's on the top right-hand side. I can't recall if it had a cost to it. I think it might have, but it's probably something like $2 or something like that. Totally worth it if you like to use different fonts on your iPad. If I go into iFont, I'm going to import fonts that I just downloaded. So I'm going to hit Import, and you can see my Downloads folder came up. And that one that we just downloaded, Lemon Milk, is at the top of the screen. So I'm going to click on that and then I can actually select these, the ones that I want. So I'm going to do, I usually like to have their regular font. So I did that one. And I can also, if I wanted to, I can pick another one, but I'm just gonna start with this regular font. You can see an example of it 
over on the left hand side because it's written in that font where it says lemon milk regular and to install it I'm going to select install and this is where things get a little bit complicated. So this website's trying to, down to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? I'm going to allow it. So profile downloaded. You can select close and then it's going to say Profile shared with settings. Follow the instructions below to complete your installation. And the button there is open your settings app. So you're gonna open settings and then you're in your settings and you can see underneath your name, it says profile downloaded. That's not usually there. So we're gonna select profile downloaded and it's going to pop up this scary looking box that says signed by not signed and, and things like that. But what you wanna do is you wanna install it and then you're gonna enter your passcode and it says the profile is not signed, warning. And I'm gonna hit install, install, and then done. And now this one should show up in Procreate. So I'm just gonna go back to iFont and you can see it says it's installed, font installed. So let's go over to Procreate and I'm going to hit the wrench tool, add text. I hit the little AA on the upper right hand side of the keyboard. And I think this one was called lemon something. Lemon milk, there it is. That's how you would install fonts in Procreate. Now, I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I don't usually purchase, I guess purchase quote, free fonts because I don't wanna worry about whether if I use these, is it gonna cause me problems? The place where I typically purchase fonts is called Design Cuts. And the reason for this is because when I purchase a font, I want to make sure that I can use it for commercial purposes, for personal purposes, for whatever I want. I don't want to have to like remember that the bison font over here requires that I not use it for anything that I make for sale um, and I can only use it for four social media profiles or whatever their licenses. I just don't have the capacity of my brain to keep track of all that. This is where I will typically purchase my font. So let's say I wanted this Toby font. So you can look on here and you can see, please refer to the Design Cuts license for terms of use. And it says, you can use resources to create a free end product or product for sale. You can use resources within personal and contracted client projects. You can use resources in multiple projects, but you can't you know, sell it yourself or use it on their own. Like you can't send, here's the alphabet so that somebody else could you know, use it on their own. So um, this is where I, I purchase most of my things. The other reason I like Design Cuts is because it has this thing where if you purchase one, you don't get a discount. If you purchase two, you get somewhat of a discount. If you purchase five, everything's 50% off. So I always buy in fives. But the same thing with this. So if I were to go into my um, Design Cuts account and I'll go to one of the bundles that I purchased. Actually, here's a, this is a font right here. So I can view the files for the font. You can download it. It's going to download in the same way as we had before. So I'm downloading it. Then I would go back into iFont. I would import it. And the nice thing about importing it right from that zip file is it's gonna do all of them at once. And so then if I wanted to install it, I would select install, allow, profile downloaded, go to settings, hit profile download, install, password, install, install, and done. And now it is on there. So that was called Naomi Blake. So if I wanted to Add text, little AA on the upper right hand side. It is right here. And now I can use that font. You could also see if I went back into pages and hit the little AAA, I would find those. So there was lemon milk, and there's the Naomi Blake. So I hope you found this helpful on how to install fonts in Procreate and into your whole iPad, actually. If you found this helpful, please like this video and subscribe for more tips on Procreate. And if there's anything you'd like to learn about how to use Procreate, please leave me a comment and I will do my best to make a video for you. Thanks so much.